It's funny you should say it's too long because I think that's the feeling of everybody right across the piece, including Tory MPs themselves. I had Theresa Villiers on my show on Friday and she said she felt it was too long. Um, and, Paul, I mean, there has been just repetition of the message during all of those hustings. There hasn't been anything new, has there? No, and I think it's driven most people mad, to be honest. Mm. I mean, look, of course you have to have um, an election of this kind when you're choosing a new leader of a political party, a new leader of the country. Um, but I cannot see how it could not have been truncated in some way. The idea that it had to go on this long, um, I think, is, is completely unnecessary. And I think we've got to a point where the public are saying, look, you know, for, for goodness sake, just install the new leader and, and let's get on with running the country. I think it's quite strange, actually, because the first part of it was quite truncated. Do you remember when we had 11 candidates and that Mm -hmm. All of a sudden it was down to two. And actually we didn't really get to hear very much from people like Kemi Badenoch, mm -hmm. like Tom Chuggenhat. Mm -hmm. uh, they were dismissed quite quickly. And instead then we had the two front runners over a long period of time. Do you think that they will be looking at this system and thinking this needs to be changed? I think they probably have yeah. to. I mean, there was a time where both main um, political parties, um, in terms of electing the, the, the leaders, just relied on MPs. I mean, that changed for the Labour Party in mm -hmm. 1980. Uh, and for the Conservative Party, I, I think around about um, William Hague's time, um, about 20 odd years ago. Now, I'm not particularly in favour of going back to, to yeah. the, you know, the time when you just gave the decision to, to members of Parliament, although it certainly happened a lot quicker. I mean, when in 1976 Harold Wilson was replaced by Jim Callaghan in the Labour Party, that process, because it was just MPs, mm. took, took place really, really quickly. So in some respects, it's better to have a wider debate and to, to include mm. the membership to, to give that extra kind of democratic mandate to the leader. Um, but you can't have a situation, particularly where the country is in a crisis, I think. I mean, we've got the, you know, the cost of living crisis, which is really affecting people mm. day to day, um, where you've got effectively a lame duck prime minister, a prime minister who everybody knows is on his way out um, and yet you have um, a, a period of a couple of, of months before the new person is installed and I would think to be honest Arlene that most conservative party members knew more or less at the outset who they were going to, to support.